guys won't believe what I did this past weekend. I went to a dog butt concert at the Civic Center, and then I had eight and a half hot dogs, and then I got sick. It was so awesome. <sighs> and those guys rock. I was busy working on my science fair project all weekend. Cool. How about you, Joanne? I got a purity ring at a purity ceremony at my church. Sweet. Wait, what's a purity ring? Basically, it means that I promise to wait to have sex until I'm married. So it's like part of your religion? Yep. It's a symbol of my decision to wait to have sex until I'm married. It's what my religion teaches is the right thing to do. People's attitudes about life are often guided by religious beliefs or based in family or cultural tradition, which help them make important decisions, including decisions about dating and sex. But what if people don't agree with each other because their beliefs are different? Different beliefs don't make one person right or another person wrong. It just makes them different, and that's okay. These beliefs can help people understand complex topics, like whether and when to have sex, how to act based on gender, the use of birth control, and what to do if you get pregnant by mistake, in a way that works for them personally. And people with the same faith or culture often have different thoughts on these same issues. For example, some people believe that all sexual experiences should only happen between two people who are married. Others think it's okay for boys to have sex before marriage, but not for girls. And others think that it's okay for people to have sex as long as they really care about each other. And people's beliefs can influence attitudes about gender and gender roles too. Some may believe that men are meant to be providers of the household, while women should be the main ones to take care of the children. Others believe that raising kids should be divided equally among the adults in the family. I know what you mean. A few days ago, my mom and my uncle were having a serious discussion about abortion. They both had really different views. Right. Some people believe that a god or higher power is the giver of life. So therefore, abortion is a procedure that ends life. And others feel that only people who are pregnant have the right to choose what happens to their body no matter what. Plus, some people may choose to follow practices they were taught as a kid, while others may find their beliefs change as they get older and are exposed to different things. In the end, you have the right to your religious and cultural beliefs, even if others do not agree with them. And remember, it's important to respect others' beliefs and not judge them as long as they are not harmful to themselves or others. I guess having different religions and cultural beliefs about life makes us all unique, much like the members of Dog Butt, though one can only dream of being as cool as them. <sighs> rock, 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 bow, wow, wow. Rock, 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 r